there's a crazy wind here. I want to tell you about Kharkiv since the beginning of full-scale war in Ukraine. You can watch my video about Kharkiv. Uh, I made it before, two years ago. And you can watch basic information about Kharkiv. I want to start with the fact that Kharkiv is 90% Russian-speaking city that was very loyal to Russia. Before 2014 there were hardly no borders between people in that area and Russia. Uh, and Russians would come to Kharkiv to shop because it was cheaper in Kharkiv and to go walk in the park. That's how it was before the war started. Kharkiv is large cultural, industrial and uh, scientific center and also transport uh, hub of Ukraine. It was third industrial center in the former USSR. So it, um, this war pushed Kharkiv to break the ties with Russia. I, I want to emphasize that uh, since winter of 2022, even specially prepared Russian soldiers could not take Kharkiv. Still now, uh, Russia is terrorizing Kharkiv and so what the citizens are feeling and hiding is the terror that they have in their hearts. Uh, Ukrainian armed forces and uh, territor the, force, the um, territorial defense were able to kick the Russians out from the, sur the area surrounding Kharkiv. Moreover, the counter-offense counter in Kharkiv Oblast uh, enabled us to throw Russians back 20-40 kilometers from the city. So Russian forces still are hitting the city with artillery, aviation and rocket systems. The attack starts usually at 12 o'clock at night and sometimes even, even during the day. When um, I was there, I heard one explosion, second explosion, and uh, we ran to the basement, but uh, nobody else ran. So I just realized uh, how damaged people are uh, are um, in that area, that they um, have uh, a little bit different response to explosions and threats. So what Russia is doing is a terror against uh, peaceful uh, inhabitants of the city uh, because they are not targeting military objects they are targeting McDonald's they're targeting mall uh, universities and other objects that have nothing to do uh, with the war and in this video you can see the destroyed buildings the windows fall off during the shock wave and there's just no glass to fix them and then also you can see the uh, remnants of the shrapnel that hit the asphalt. Some of it is already um, covered up by cement and other areas are still holes are there. Uh, and also you can see a photo of a chocolate. Uh, it's produced in Kharkiv and it's, go uh, it's operating in these conditions and producing chocolate during the shooting. So many people evacuated from this area, uh, but still there are about 700,000 uh, 700, people left. 
and actually the city officials say that the streets are not safe. Uh, but still uh, people continue their life and uh, it so happens that um, there could be explosions at Saltivka and then on, in the park mothers are walking around with their children like living their life. The economy of Kharkiv fell uh, about 60% and actually a huge um, demand now is humanitarian aid is creating huge demand uh, by they are producing food packages to distribute to the locals uh, and you can uh, meet my friend uh, who who has his own humanitarian hub and he works nights a day to help help his people. Всім привіт. Мене звати Дарік. По паспорту Сергій. Більше людей мене знають по волонтерській діяльності як Дарік, тому що я створив у своєму місті, в місті Валки в Харківській області штаб Дарік дарує добро. Це така волонтерська ініціатива. So on a positive note, as you can see, life continues, people enjoy, youth is there, people are coming back, businesses are opening and Kharkiv is standing strong, is intense to just uh, have, it, have its life back and be emerge stronger. Amidst the pain, destruction uh, and the economical struggles, uh, you can see people are strong and they uh, want to have their life in Kharkiv. And here's the weekly walk. Sirena, Sirena, Siren or Air Raid Siren, Bomboschovishcha, Bomboschovishcha, Bunker. Humanitarna dopomoha, Humanitarna dopomoha, Humanitarian aid. I'm filming this video in Dnipro and just now uh, the city the city was hit by a miss or something. I don't know what. Just got in the news this information. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel.